Hey, what's up? My name is Rooney G. I'm a Pioneer demonstrator, and I want to introduce you to the latest innovation of uh, Pioneer Pro DJ Line, the CDJ800, which is uh, basically the baby brother to the CDJ1000. What makes the CDJ800 so cool, just like the 1000, is taking the art form of DJing from vinylists, all vinyl turntables, the vinyl art form, scratching, mixing, all that, and lets you do that, but with CDs. CDJ800, just like the 1000s, lets you um, control it with the platter. Once you grab the sound, you are grabbing the sound just like it was vinyl. Welcome to the future. As you can hear, all the motion is just like as if it was a record playing, just like it was vinyl. I can let it play. Welcome to the future. Bring it back. Welcome to the future. Scratch it. Welcome to the future. Welcome to the future. Just like vinyl. And the control, it's exact. Once you release the platter, welcome to the you're releasing the sound just like vinyl. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the future. As I mentioned, this is a uh, CD player. It plays CDs, CDRs, CDRWs. It doesn't play MP3. It's not a sampler. It's truly a digital turntable with CD, and it's a front-loaded unit. The CD goes into the front like so. Let's get to some of the features of the CDJ800. The vinyl speed adjust right here. This determines the start and the slowdown of the audio when you push play. Kind of like turning off the power and hitting the brake of a traditional turntable. So let's give you an example. If I hit this all the way, turn this knob, excuse me, all the way to the right and hit the play pause, just like I was powering down on a turntable. So if I start it back up, if I turn it about halfway, it's going to be like I'm hitting the brake. See? So once again, all the way to the right, it's like powering down. And then halfway, it's like a break. Another function is the reverse. First button. Instantly reverses up on touch. And you can still scratch it. Still grab it. We also added a quick return function. Once you hit that, what that does takes you immediately back to your cue point without having to backspin. So watch when I touch it. quick return. There's also two modes here to run the player in CD mode or vinyl mode. I think most of you guys would be interested in vinyl mode but just in case we got some old school CD DJs that uh, grew up using CD players and uh, um, kind of custom to the way the older pioneer CD players, the 700, 500, how they work, you can just easily push the button, it switches back to CD mode and if you pause it it's got the stuttering effect. Once again, that's for your old school CD play guys. Me personally, I uh, pretty much run it like that. But once again, that's to give the transitions from other CDJ users of uh, past Pioneer products. Pitch control. Check this out. The CDJ800 offers plus and minus 100% pitch control. Yeah. So. What that means is you can do just crazy wicked stuff with it. So like I can slow it down. That's, I'm actually manually controlling the slowdown. But it's not gonna stop, it's gonna play at that speed because that's like minus 
I can go real slow. Or speed it up. Like on 45. Those are familiar with Master Tempo. Master Tempo is like live pitch correction. So what it does, it'll keep the pitch the same, but let you speed up the tempo whichever way you like. Listen to it and you'll understand. Push Master Tempo on. We're gonna start, we we'll play. Notice the difference in sound um, when I have the master tempo on versus when it is off. Normally, when you're searching through tracks, you'd have to hit the track search button right here. Just, and you can see, go through different tracks. But the CDJ 800 gives you the ability to do an ultra fast search. If you hold the track search button down and spin the jog wheel, you can get through tracks very quickly. Watch the numbers. Every half a revolution is approximately 50 tracks. It's good for if you have a sample CD with 99 tracks and you want to get to track 63, you can do it very quickly with the ultra fast track search. Taking it a step further, the song search mode works very similar using the search button right here. So this is a time remaining is two minutes and 57 seconds, approximately a three minute song. If I want to get to the middle of that song, same procedure, hold the song search button down and turn the jog wheel and watch how fast these numbers jump. Went to track 10, went very quickly. I can get to where I want. So right, right there, you know, very quickly.